trying. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Thank you, John. You, he, or after 10 years or so, you almost got my name right. That's great. <laughs> Okay, I'm very happy to share uh, today a little bit our initial experience with the new CyberKnife M6 system in Munich, and I'd like to thank Ecoray for inviting me to this uh, symposium. I'd also like to thank Christoph, our head physicist, who helped me to design these slides. Christoph, are you here? Not so far. All right. So we started with CyberKnife in 2005, and since then we have treated like 5,000 uh, patients until today. Still our focus is pretty much on intracranial and uh, spinal indications. Uh, we work hard uh, to develop further our extracranial indications together with our colleagues from the uh, university hospital. Uh, as you know everywhere this is not only about indications, that's a lot of political stuff going on, but I think over time we will um, convince people that uh, in many clinical situations that is a good idea. So we are a little bit famous in Munich for single fraction treatment. This is not because we are so apodictic about it. We just believe that at least if the tumor is small, this is still the best thing to do. And maybe most important, the cyber knife is capable of doing that. So, you know, if, we, if you treat your tumors with too many fractions, um, you end up in a discussion, you know, why do you need such a high-end technological machine, but uh, probably the CyberKnife is one of the very few machines which is, again, capable uh, of doing very high precision and uh, even that in moving targets, so uh, single fraction should be a good option. A little bit our timeline. So, as I said, we started in 2005 with a G3, updated to a G4, and uh, then installed the first M6 in uh, December 2012, and uh, got IRIS 3 in March, and uh, wait desperately for the iris collimator, what we just heard, coming up probably soon. So this is just a comparable view. On the left-hand side, you see the old CyberKnife. On the right-hand side, the new CyberKnife and 6. And this is the image in between. So uh, for those of you who think about upgrading your system, this is what you have to expect. You know, looks a little bit like, uh, you know, after World War II, we were really very much um, afraid to see that big construction uh, place. But uh, you have to get a new base frame, so everything has to go out and, and make it completely new, but um, finally uh, we managed to do the whole thing. Uh, so from the last patient to the f uh, of the G4 to the first patient to the M6 in something like uh, eight weeks, so this was pretty fast. This is just a scan of the beautiful new uh, M6 of our treatment suite. And uh, you know there are these uh, completely new components, so it's not just an upgrade is really a complete new uh, system with a new robot, a new Linux head, a new exchange table, and um, yeah, these components um, are uh, really working now very well, I think. The tracking modalities are still the ones you know, so for head, spine, and uh, uh, body, you have these uh, tracking techniques you know. Uh, synchrony, uh, we just heard that, uh, will be um, improved over time, but uh, I think it's uh, already working very well. Uh, Excite Spine Pro is uh, now uh, also in the system, and uh, we have uh, some optimization for Excite Lung tracking. We did, of course, uh, the typical end-to-end -end test, so accuracy is still the one you know, which is uh, uh, in a physical setting about half a millimeter which is uh, really enough for all kind of indications you want to treat. This is just a case I liked a lot because I saw this patient last week and I thought I'd share this with you. Uh, this is a large uval melanoma. We treat pretty many uval melanomas with CyberKnife and I will give a presentation about that tomorrow for those of you who are interested more at the ISS meeting. That's a big, pretty big tumor, so most of these tumors would be treated worldwide by surgery, which means eye removal and um, you see pretty nicely that uh, after two years the tumor is completely gone and most important, even though this is so near to the lens, I think you can appreciate that uh, the patient still has a usable vision. Okay, back to the M6. Um, there is an optimized system geometry, what you see here. 
uh, is just, you know, the, all these green dots were not uh, there before. And uh, because the cyber knife is now si sitting, you know, like perpendicular to the treatment table, you have the full spectrum of the room you can use for your beams. Um, it seems uh, that is uh, significantly more efficient. Um, we have measured a uh, improved and shorter treatment time of about 20%, and uh, this was done with relatively few treatments with iris. So if you would increase your iris load, I think this would be even faster, and uh, even though none of these patients have been treated with uh, MLC so far. This is just a quick spot of the upcoming M MLC, 12 by 10 centimeters field size, 41 leaf pairs, and um, uh, we, uh, we think, and I will show you, that this technology really would be a next big step, uh, advancement step, for the applications of uh, CyberKnife. We have treated so far with the M6 830 patients. Uh, that's an uh, increase of over 20% compared to 2012. Um, the system has a very good availability. Precision, what I showed, is good. Uh, treatment time is reduced. And uh, it is said that with the MLC, we will be able to treat larger targets and even more efficiently. This is, uh, of, this is just a, a cake uh, by case where you see what kind of treatments we did. Uh, at this time, uh, still a lot of, uh, you know, vestibular schwannomas, brain metastasis, meningiomas, uve melanomas, and uh, also some lung, liver, and uh, kidney cases. So this is a simulation, uh, basically, uh, our physics team did together with Ecuray. That's the first case, that's an AVM. And uh, these are cases we actually treated, and we compared that and simulated that how would we have treated this case uh, with the MLC. So on the left-hand side, you see the case, how it was treated with a fixed uh, collimator, uh, one, one times 16 gray. This is pretty much the dose we use now. It's a low dose, uh, but uh, we find that particularly with CyberKnife 16, 17 gray, works very well for AVMs. It is significantly lower than we did before with the gamma knife. I don't have a good ex explanation for that, but uh, empirically, um, this is working well. So on the right-hand side, you see the MLC simulation, and you probably acknowledge that it's pretty much the same. It's not, at least it's not worse. And uh, what you see is a considerable faster treatment. So with the old fixed plan, it took us one hour, 45 minutes. That's a long treatment. But the lesion is also located in a difficult location right in the basal ganglia, right? So um, uh, you need a very steep gradient here. And the same thing could be achieved uh, with the MLC in an hour faster. And that's quite uh, significant, I think. That's another case, uh, kidney cancer. We treat with our urologist quite a few of kidney cancers. I think there's a very good indication for CyberKnife, even though not many people seem to do that, actually. And again, on the left-hand side, you see the plan how we did it. Uh, one time 25 uh, gray, and on the right-hand side, you see the MLC plan. It looks uh, also similar, maybe in details a little better. And the treatment time, again, came down from 1 hour 10 minutes to 40 minutes. That's another case. That's a big uh, skull-based lesion. Um, we, even we treated this with a couple of fractions. So it was treated with 5 times 5 gray. Um, and uh, also here, you can see a significant improvement in treatment time from 1 hour 25 to 25 minutes per fraction. Most important for you is probably the case for prostate. Uh, it seems that uh, the CyberKnife M6 together with an MLC will be something uh, like a great uh, prostate machine. So again, this is a fixed plan. Uh, we treated uh, with a fuller protocol, 4 times 9.5 gray on the left-hand side. Interestingly, on the right-hand side, the MLC plan looks actually um, nicer. So the 
isodoses are, you know, uh, the gradient is steeper, particularly if you look to the rectum, very nice uh, rectal sparing, very, very near isodosis in this situation. And also treatment time came from 55 minutes down to 35 minutes per fraction. So you have a better uh, treatment plan and a shorter treatment time. So we are looking very forward to this uh, tool. Um, I like to end with this picture. This is uh, just a piece of art out of our center. I like a lot. Um, this is a French artist, French uh, photo artist, by the way, and uh, the the guy there standing at the, at the bottom is the artist itself, and he looks to the perspective to the future, and uh, I hope the future of the CyberKnife M6 will be very bright. Thank you very much.